Oh hey there my fellow Tarhans, I'm Captain Beans and welcome to part 6 of my second campaign in High Fleet. Enjoy! Now currently I'm located in Samrach, which is a repair station, because last time I got damaged a lot. Uh, when I tried to destroy that strike group, they launched a bunch of missiles at me and it basically just damaged my ship so severely I had to move south. And as I did that, I completely destroyed them with my own missiles. But here's the thing about that strike group. That strike group did not have the Nomad that, were, that I was talking about. And so that means it's not the final strike group. But the final strike group that we have to kill is located right here. It's this guy, Don. And he's actually really close to Hiva. And so... And so I might not be able to reach to him today. But for now, I'm, I'm now scheduled for repairs, so let's just wait for repairs. And also let's refuel enough so that I can reach Nahor. Because our, co our journey for today is maps like so. So I'll go to Nahor, to Erbil, and... Actually, now that I think about it, it might be better to go to Saidi and then north to maybe Yezid. Because I also found out that there is another Tarhan somewhere far northeast of Gilid, which is this town right here. And I think it's in Yezid or Um. And so, yeah, today I'm going to be hiring Tarhans. So yeah, let's uh, repair, refuel, and let's set course. Hmm, actually, I might just go to Saidi directly from here. And what I'll do is I'll just send my fast ships into Erbil to get intel. Yeah, I think that's a better move. I just realized I lost my lightning and so I cannot attack Air Bill silently. Actually, maybe instead of Air Bill, I might actually capture Baran instead. So let's just erase this line. and just yeah like that I'll capture Paran instead since it's an intel station and the same thing and I'll do it loudly because I don't have any fast ships and I sold my Gepard which actually I don't need because that strike group is way up north and it'll take a while for them to come down south. And so I have more than enough time to prepare to defend against them. You know, I still have missiles and stuff, and planes. So, yeah. Let's capture Paran. What? It's just one slogger? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then. Alright, let's see where that strike group is and see if they're coming towards us. Oh, look at him. He's actually going south. He's gonna go down toward toward me. <laughs> this is exactly what I want. I want you to come down here. And if he does in this part, I guess I'll just kill him. <laughs> Although... I originally thought that the strike group would just go into Hiva and wait for me there, but I guess not. Well then, now that I know 
for sure that there is a strike group heading in my direction, which has a nomad, by the way. I'm going to capture Moab, get a bunch of expensive parts, and by expensive parts I mean missiles, and then I'll just see if I can hunt this guy down. Oh, and I'll capture a cargo convoy at the same time. So that's nice. Let's go, bitches. Alright, do they have missiles? Yes! Oh, <laughs> They have all the missiles that I need. Great. Let me just stockpile all of them. For this strike group, I'm really gonna need a bunch of them because the Nomad has a shit ton of AA missiles. Which are these guys right here, the R9 sprint systems. Let's do some mild repairs. And let's land this thing and install some of the missiles. I also, dis I also switched the radar on my fast tanker with, with this Alint system. And I'll use this ship as an early warning. I'm just gonna send it somewhere. And it'll, yeah, it'll just act as an early warning. It'll tell me where the strike group is, approximately. And I'll use planes for recon. And then, of course, missiles. Okay, let's send the fast tanker somewhere just out here. It's fine. So, the fast tanker that's located right here will also have a radius of... Let me just find out. Now, now in my experience, whenever a target with a radar turned on gets into the radius of a thousand kilometers, that's when the Alint system picks it up. In the game files, it says it's a thousand five hundred, but in my experience, it's been just a thousand. But I'm not sure. Alright, let's just wait for the strike group. Okay, this is really strange. I cannot get, I cannot find out where the strike group is because I cannot click the thing in the intel station. I think it might be because the, the strike group probably already went into Kiva or, or even this way, but I don't know where they are. Like, should I just move on? Well, I guess I'm just gonna move on then. Um, I think the safe bet will be to go to Yezid. Because it's another place where I can get more missiles if I need to. So, so fast tanker, return. I should let the fast tanker still be there, just as an early warning. And let's, of course, to Yezid. Well then, since I'm not detecting any strike group, let's just capture Yazid then. Ooh. 
Let's go, bitches. Okay, now, now I can find out where the strike group is, and Don is now in Misaif. So, actually, exactly as I thought, they're they're in Misaif, well, heading to Misaif uh, at least. Now, tactical groups. There are so many of them. It's just, bro. Now, I do like the idea of at least waiting for them somewhere in such a way that they're not going to send missiles at me but once they go into the trap I'll just shoot a bunch of missiles at them but I'm also afraid of this tactic because staying in one city like in the last episode I was completely bombarded with missiles and missiles is not going to be enough to take out Dom. I would really love to keep the monitor alive and fully functional so that I can take out the strike group. So I think it would be probably better if I go on the offensive. If they're located in Misaif and if I refuel at Um. I can use this area right here, which is unmarked, and just send a bunch of missiles from there at the strike group. But here's another thing. There is an aviation group right here. And if I get into Shiloh or anywhere close to there, and if I get detected, this guy's probably going to send the planes. But, a good counter to planes is planes, and planes I do have, so it shouldn't be such a huge deal. So now let's capture Um, get, us, get fuel, and let's go on the offensive. We are going to take that motherfucker down. Okay, so one cargo vessel left. Um, and one came into Um, and so yeah, I'm getting money either way, so. <laughs> well then, let's go, bitches. Let's go, you scurvy dogs. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to shoot that cargo vessel, but okay. <laughs> well, either way, I got money from that, so that's nice. Ooh, and I found a Tarham. Let's hire him, or her, I don't know who that is. Al-Sahir. 
Omar, the son of Rasov, peace be upon you. Why are you here, Al Sahir? How's your good father? Harshids, in service to the Lord Governor, murdered my father. They threw him off a ship three days ago. His body was shattered against the ground. Omar and his men seem stunned by the news. The Almighty shall avenge his murders sevenfold. May it be so. The boy turns to you next. Peace be upon you, son of Saidi. Peace be upon you as well. Al Sahir, call me Al Sahir. Harshid's in service to the Lord Governor murdered my father three days ago. Well then, you have my condolences, Al Sahir. You are heading for Hiva, son of Saidi. Allow me to join you. You know what? I'll let you join me. So I'll be I'll be happy to fight by your side, Al Sahir. Okay. And now on to finding that strike group and trying to destroy it. I'm going to go some route, maybe like this, like this, and I'll use this flanking maneuver to take out the strike group, but well, let's see the distance maybe. I'll definitely be able to see the strike group via the Alint system if I'm gonna use this maneuver but because I have my radar turned off they won't see me so I should be fine all right let's set course to this flanking maneuver So far I'm not detecting anything. Hmm. Now there is an aircraft carrier group which I kinda don't like. I could try to take them out first before taking out the strike group because I don't know where the strike group is to be honest. Actually let's do some recon with an airplane. Okay, so I don't know where Don is, the strike group, but I am certain that they're not in this general area right here. They're not here. There's there's just a bunch of cargo vessels going this way. So I think it would actually be safe to capture Kemch and take out the airplane carrying group. But how am I going to take out the airplane carrier group with KH-15P missiles? Because, as I know, aircraft carriers do not have radars on them. Hmm. What's that? Hidden people? Huh, let's land here. Hey, that's a very convenient thing that I just found some hidden people here. I can refuel and just do anything that I want really for as much as I need to so that's good at least what I can do is switch my missiles alright let's take out the airplane carrying group with these missiles Take out the carrier. I didn't take it out, but the second missile should do it. Okay, the carrier is still alive. This should kill it. Alright. The airplane carrying group is officially dead. Vetyar is dead, even though it's still showing that it's there, but it's actually dead. 
Now let's switch back to these missiles. Okay, where is the strike group? I have no idea. But I'm but I have the suspicion that they're somewhere south and not north. Now where is the nearest intel station? We have Betel and we have Hash. I think it would be better to take Hash maybe. Okay, so I've received a message from Don, I think. An encrypted message. And it's somewhere from northwest. I think they're located close to Deir. And what I'll do is I'll just assume that the strike group is there. And I'll see if I'm correct once I capture Hush. Okay, so I actually guessed somewhat correctly. Don is located northwest of me, but they're not close to Deir. Instead, they're more close to Isa. Okay, I think this is a point where I can actually go on the offensive. I'll just capture, I'll try to quickly capture Deir and then try to find them. And, uh, you know, take these motherfuckers out of their misery. Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so the strike group is actually somewhere this way. Okay, let's switch course a little bit, and then let's send mis planes for recon. Okay, there's the strike group. They're landing in Deir, which is something I actually, actually kind of knew that was going to happen. Can I send missiles in their direction? Oh, fuck yes, I can send missiles. Let's do that. <laughs> Don, prepare to get bombarded by missiles. Yes. Just what I thought. This strike group has the Nomad. It's this ship right here. And I hit him. Okay, okay. Let's do this thing where I land into Hush and resupply my uh, missile carrier. Okay, let's send more missiles. Now, these missiles are probably not gonna kill the Nomad, but they sure will damage it a lot, which is something I would want once I get into close combat with them. Did I just destroy their nomad with missiles? Well, that calls for direct confrontation now. Charge!
Your Imperial Highness, it is my wish that we meet in person in order to rec reconcile our differences. You are expected in the Valley of Basra on a single unescorted ship. Secretary General, the Republic of Gerat. Surely he jests, who would ever walk into such an obvious trap? It's too simple to be a trap. He'd provide guarantees if he truly intended to negotiate. He's up to something. But what? It could be a diversionary tactic intended to buy time. So where is that valley? Okay, so here's another thing that's happened. The governor now wants to meet with me, but fuck the governor. All right, these this strike group is actually trying to run away from me from me now, but I won't let them get away from me. <laughs> Not that easily. Let's send a bunch of planes into their direction. Let's just weaken the strike group a little bit, a little bit before I go into direct confrontation with them. How is that guy not dead? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. I'm still. That doesn't stop me from just charging them. What does stop me from charging them is a bunch of these airplane carrying groups. Which, let's just move here. The return of Diana. Something impossible happened today. Our cruiser Diana, which was sent to re-establish communication with the Skobelev, has returned. A gift from the heavens, and right in the nick of time, but her crew brought us something even more astonishing. News from the capital. My father is alive and well. We thought Romani fleet high command had been eliminated, but they are still alive. And the war in the capital never ended. It continues even now. Admiral Daud barges into your cabin as you're discussing strategy with Pyotr Ignatievich. You knew! You received a transmission from High Command, didn't you? What are you talking about, Admiral? Does he know it too? Nay, nee, Sharif. He does not. What's going on here? During our stay in Ur, General Shahin received a transmission from High Command. It was a direct order from, for us to return to the capital, but he kept this order from us. Instead, he convinced us all that High Command has been eliminated and the war in the south was lost. And we obeyed him and agreed to this insane assault. Which can still succeed. The opportunity to capture Hiva is far more important than anything happening in the motherland. But what of my family, Pyotr? My wife and children, who are still in the capital? What about the Emperor? What about your oath? Duke, I demand you to arrest the General immediately. Well, Pyotr Ignatievich, hand over your weapon. Mark, if you could just allow me to. Yet, Piotr, just give me, just give me your gun. Embarrassed, Piotr hands you his sidearm. He won't turn south, Admiral. I suggest you leave your squadron, our squadron, at once. So you're an accomplice too, Duke. Daud knits the brow and shakes his head. So be it. 
Good day, gentlemen. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you are soon told that several ships had taken off and left your squadron heading south. <laughs> Oh my god. That was a terrible decision that I just made. And with just the Sevastopol, I don't think I'll be able to beat the game. But you know what? I kind of wanted to open up this second this this part of the story. And you know what? I'll finish the story. Well then strike group, it's only me, the Sevastopol. <laughs> well then, let's go then, bitches. Sevastopol is taking damage. Ah. Shit. Fire up on that motherfucker. I've won against that strike group, but at what cost? <laughs> I lost basically all of my fleet just because of that dumb storyline. Ah, well then, now that the tables have turned, I guess that's gonna be it for this one. <laughs> well then, now that my entire fleet is missing, except for the Sevastopol and my trusty wasp, I guess it's time to uh, finish this part six right here the big mission for today is complete I've destroyed the final strike group and now the mission for me is to reach Hiva take out the Lord Governor there and we'll see what's going on next but anyway thank you for watching I'm Captain Beans and goodbye <laughs>